Welcome to BAM's Global Scene, a series in which you'll get an inside look at the most exciting music scenes in the most influential cities in the world. In this, our very first thread, we're going to delve into the dark recesses of old London town to see how the city itself is shaping the audible landscape. We're going to be hearing from some of London's own grassroots artists and producers about what makes London such a vital place to be right now. And we're also going to be checking out some of the scenes currently making the biggest waves that ripple throughout the rest of the world. So what is it that makes London a special place to be? I love music in London. London is such a vibrant, busy place. Um, that amount of influence is, you know, needed. The London scene is, is by far uh, one of the biggest scenes in the world and um, by far it's, you know, people are still have to catch, or many other places still have to catch up to where we are. You know, living in London, being here is a real adventure and like interacting with each other musically and on all other levels. You don't have the diversity in many, many places around the world, I guess only in very, very big metropolitan areas, but London has been able to take that and produce some amazing music. It's almost like a jump into the deep end, you know. When and how you surface and how you float is up to you. At the end of the day, we are we are a product of our environment, and I, and I'm and I'm pleased like to be in an environment like London because it really is an adventure, and the people that I'm surrounded by are so inspirational. Our music probably is inspired by London quite a lot, actually, yeah. as as is any lyric writing by where you are. I mean, there there are all kinds of different scenes from art scenes to you know, different genres of music happening in London. And London always seems to be the place where things start. In fact, London is a magnet. So in fact, you get every type of person, every type of band, every type of style here, um, unlike other places around the world where they specialise. We tend to um, overlap those genres because it's, uh, it's so diverse and people want so many different uh, um, ideas to come from, you know, inspiration. I do think there's a group of young musicians which all kind of have the same approach to music that we do and that we all sometimes share projects and, you know, overlap with that are coming to it from the perspective of it's just this open book. So, yeah, I think the, the scene itself is um, not only do you get some of the best artists on, on, it, on a week-to-week -week basis playing in London, but also a lot of good artists being, um, you know, all a lot of good artists coming from the roots of London. And I've never been to so many gigs, obviously, as, as here. There's so much to offer. Yeah. And so many different types of gigs, like not, not only one, one sort of thing that I would usually sort of hunt out. You can go out any night and do anything that's different. Dance music, rock music, anything you want, really. And that's why I, I wouldn't live anywhere else, to be honest, but um, no. that's why I like it here. Yeah, yeah. And I think people are getting really back into going out to a night where there, it's like a, a tiny capacity venue. The London crowd is just more up with it, to be honest. Um, they've just got so much energy about them. Um, I mean, I've, uh, I've done a few gigs abroad uh, recently, and um, I think out of, uh, out of all the gigs, um, London was definitely my favourite. London changes because a lot of the time people get told certain areas popular and a certain type of music is, but as soon as you get them, the people that want to do that, they go to that place, another little sort of counterculture springs up somewhere else. They tend to be better in my opinion, but... A lot of it's always word of mouth, isn't it, at yeah. the end of the day? It's like one place gets cool, another place yeah. doesn't, and then something else starts up. The other thing is, of course, it's circular. What happens is it becomes known for that, and then all the bands who sound a bit like that or are interested in that get attracted to be part of that scene. So so that you do have a snowball effect with that kind of thing and then it's self-reinforcing. We, we're from London and what we're doing is a London thing, you know, like that's exactly how it is. Over the course of the next few shows, we're going to be finding out a lot more about London, about the people, the place, the energy, and of course, the music itself. Make sure you join us for our next episode.